Ayla and I decided to switch up our biking route today. We are, sorry, my freaking nails are not pretty right now. Um, we are not going to the rail trail. We are going somewhere near Okanagan Lake. Don't know, don't know what it's called. I've walked with her a couple times there before. Um, so that's where we're going. Uh, I guess I will see you guys when I get there. Bye! We have only done two kilometers so far and I severely underestimated how hard uphill is while you're dragging you. a 40 pound trailer along with a 25 pound baby. But I mean, cardio, so can't be mad about it. <laughs> hey Ayla, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Okay, so we just got back to the car. Um, very red. We did four kilometers there and four kilometers back, so eight total. You guys know how to do math. Um, yeah, I like this place, but it's pretty much all uphill on the way there. It's paved, which is like good for Ayla, but um, if I'm doing like uphill and then downhill on the way back, I'd rather just have it gravel and just go mountain biking um, without my kid. So coming back down the hill was like a little bit stressful just because I didn't want to go too fast. I didn't want to crash. I was just a little too nervous biking with Ayla. So I think we'll probably just stick to flat ground with her for now until she's a little bit older and can ride her own bike or sit in the back of like like a little baby seat on the back of mine. Um, yeah, I was just a little too nervous about the downhill part. Um, otherwise, I did really like it. It's fun, um, super pretty, but yeah, I will see you guys when I see you. We're just gonna head home now. Bye. I was just helping the landscapers in the backyard. But she woke up and um, wanted to sit on my shoulders. <laughs> but she keeps looking around, so I don't want to drop her. Um, mm -hmm. I think I'm probably going to go back out there and help them some more. Um, and she's just going to hang out and play in the sand. Or the dirt, I guess. But yeah, this is my, <laughs> my fit my BC sweats that I turned into shorts and then my Kiddick and Rye um, army shirt. That is from my friend that's in the military. Yeah. You know when you like put your dog in the bath and then they get the zoomies after? I put her on my bed and she gets the zoomies. Like she's just, she's just crazy. She's crazy. Should I do a tattoo to her? I'm gonna do a tattoo tour. Okay, so tattoo number one, it says family and then birds for my siblings. Tattoo number two, it says believe it went over some very old self-harm marks. 
um, and that was my favorite flower at the time. And Ayla just lost my page in the book. I don't know if you can see the one on my neck, but I will. I will try and grab. It. Okay, so that one right there is the symbol for strength. Um, I got that one done for my grandpa, who was fighting cancer for a very, 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 very long time. And then there's this one for my grandma. It says, by grace through faith. Um, that was my fourth tattoo. Yeah. And then this one says, Iliora de Germeyer, which means that there will be better days. Um, that is something that my mother and I used to always say to each other. So that one is for her. Um, I don't even know if you can see it. Can you? And then my fifth tattoo, um, I tell people that it is the anniversary of my parents, but that is actually not true. Um, we don't need to talk about what it is because that one's very, um, that one touches my, I don't know how to explain it, but it. All I'm going to say is that I almost died on that day and that's all that needs to be said. But it's, it's a very sensitive subject um, and it touches my heart like very deeply. Um, but there's that one and then the rose was along with it and these were supposed to be realism mountains they are not done yet this is supposed to be like a crystal around it like a diamond um so there's that one and then the year my father was born in morse code just because i would always try and speak morse code to him and it was just like an inside joke we had we would always just kind of annoy everyone around us by speaking morse code okay and then this is my seventh tattoo um my tattoo artist in vancouver i was having a mental breakdown one day so i just texted him and i said hey give me a tattoo your choice so he did this one on my foot ayla's crying one second and then i've got this one here that is just like self-love just kind of like hugging yourself uh love yourself basically is what it means i got this one for my father it's the day he passed away excuse my mosquito bite um, yeah, so I think that's all for that arm. I have this one for Ayla. It's here. Let me... It says miracles do happen, and then it's the time and date she was born. Um, because I wasn't supposed to be able to have her, I was having infertility problems, and there was a very, very low chance that I was going to be pregnant, and there was a very low chance that she was going to make it past the first trimester, but she did, so miracles do happen. Then I have my angel numbers in my father's writing on my elbow and my daughter's angel numbers in my father's handwriting on my other elbow and then i've got this one here it's supposed to be a little wave a uh, heart sun and an airplane symbolizing that my happy place is um somewhere that i have to travel to with a beautiful sunset like by the ocean basically uh, but my airplane kind of looks like a stick person missing a head. Anyways, I thought that that one was pretty funny, so yeah. I did, in fact, forget a tattoo, but I'm also not going to show you guys it. Uh, it's in between my breasts. It's a symbol for healing, and then underneath that it says Kwantwa, which means believe in yourself. And um, yeah. It's um, late and loud. I have a bunch of fans going, but that is it for today's vlog. I hope you all enjoyed, and... I hope you like my tattoos. If you don't, I don't really care. I like them. Um, anyways, yeah, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and comment down below and um, be kind. <laughs> That's what my sweater says. I thought that was funny. Anyways, yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!